All right, and for this last little bit here, um, there's only one slightly tricky part is what we're gonna do is want to clip the illustration of Michael Scott. So we're gonna duplicate this layer, the one called border. I'm gonna duplicate it so that rectangle is exactly the same size, but slightly, uh, let's see, I'm gonna make it a different color. And so you can just see that once I make a clipping mask, it will disappear. And so it, it's kinda, what's gonna happen is the, the stroke and fill of that that box and I'm, I'm going to do it right now I'm going to duplicate that box and I'm going to put it in front to make a clipping mask it has to be in front and so I'm going to change the color of it just so you're aware uh, so it's a little bit more clear I'm going to have the fill I'm going to make the fill um, uh, I'll just make it red so it's really obvious I'll make the stroke none so there's none okay so here's what we want to do. I'm going to take the selection tool. I'm going to grab the illustration, hold down shift, grab that red box. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object, clipping mask, make. And that box, that red box disappears. It's in front and whatever you're clipping must be in back. And so that's the one tricky part there. Okay. So then I'm going to move, I'm going to move that. Um, let's see. I'm going to change. I'm going to duplicate this box again because I don't like the way his head is in front of this key line. So what I did was I made this border to copy. And I'm going to select it and I'm going to um, move it to the front or above, right above him. And I'm going to make the fill done. Okay, so there's that. I mean, that's one way to do it. Maybe not the best, but it's one way. It's a workaround. It's fast. It's quick. And there's our key line um, of this of this um, of the white the white one and I actually want that to be behind behind him so I'm gonna drag this behind him there and let's see and oops the white border and I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna bring it right below him and so you can see the white line goes behind. I'm gonna make that slightly smaller. I'm gonna make that 4.8 and 2.8. Let's see how that looks. Well, that was, that was, uh, let's see. Why did that move? 5.5, 4.25, and I'll make that 4.8, and make that 2.8. See how that looks. Okay, so it comes in just a little bit. I have that key line around. Uh, you can see when you're working, you can, you can make little adjustments here or there. I'm also going to come in, and I'm going to select this, this one, and I'm going to... Um, maybe I'll add a gradient in there. So I'm going to grab this gradient tool and, um, let's see, uh, maybe I'm going to make a darker blue. So just for sake of going through this process with you, I'm going to make this 90 degrees. And so, and I'm going to move the midpoint a little bit tighter like that. And I'm going to give it the background color of this powder blue that we had before. So, so that's how it looks. Okay. So then I'm going to make a new layer up here. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to change the text to white. 
I'm going to put in my price of the stamp and it's 11 cents and I'm going to make this much bigger one way to do that is to, to scale it up and then I also like to I like to tighten that type up so I'm going to go to minus 75 I'm going to change font something I like antique olive and I'm going to change this I'm going to tighten that up again I'm going to make it really tight I'm going to make it minus minus 300 that's too much and then also this scent here I'm going to make that smaller one way you can do that is just click here go to that's too small and then uh, I'm gonna move that move that up so I'm gonna go to character and here I'm gonna put in a couple of clinks and then I'm gonna move this so it's a little bit looser all right I'm gonna give it that same brown border or a, a same brown background same color as that border like that then I'm gonna alt copy drag and I'm gonna make that white so there is your stamp and the last features on this is I'm gonna put on perf this perforation I'm gonna Put a drop shadow filter stylized drop shadow i like this gray color and a little bit of a drop shadow on there and then the, um, the thing i'd like to do is um, i'm going to take off this i'm going to take this border off and so there you have it that is kind of a quick demo of the third part of our stamp. I hope that helps. And send in questions in the frequently asked questions or email me if you have a specific question that you're struggling with. But that's it for now. Thanks.